Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Coco Chanel, the Mademoiselle. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an interactive ebook for your fitness and nutrition programs that you can sell as a digital online product. But before we get into all of that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring my bell, and let's get to it. So this video is actually going to be for anyone, but mostly for those fitness professionals that are looking to sell like online fitness programs that come in the form of like an ebook or a digital product. So um, if you have Canva Pro, shout out to you. If you don't, you can click that link below so you can grab it. Cause I'm telling you, you're gonna want Canva Pro after you see this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna be on the back face of your Canva. So you'll just go to canva.com and right here in the search bar, we're gonna type in fitness ebook. And here Canva is gonna hook you up with a selection of various ebook covers that you can choose from. Pick your favorite. We're gonna stay right here in the templates area and we're gonna type in fitness just to make the search easy. And if you notice, there really aren't many options for the fitness. Um, I really don't like any, either one of those, but you know what? Let's go ahead and pick this one. Okay, so in order to get a, an appealing cover, right? We are going to take a photo of you, which would actually be me, but a photo of you. And, Scroll, 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 scroll. I haven't taken any recent photos of myself. These are all from like 2009. And this is so perfect, right? These are not my brand colors, but I just want to have fun with these. I just want to have fun with it. Um, so I'm going to go to edit image and then I am going to remove the background. It's boom, perfect. And then I'm going to expand this and notice how it automatically set the photo to go into the background, which is cool. But if it doesn't do that for you automatically, you can come over here to the right hand side where it says position and you can go to, you know, bringing it to the forward or bringing it backward, whatever. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this font to my brand kit font which is Babis New, I absolutely love that font. And I'm gonna title this Fitness Ebook, right? Yeah, I'm gonna decrease the size on that because I want it to fit on all one line. Um, the thing about when you're creating anything via online, you wanna think about your image and your text placement because people will follow the text or the image that is more prominent to them. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this part. I'm just playing with the designs, the placement, the colors, uh, shadows, things that really pop out to people and make um, it look appealing. All right, cool. So this is how you can rock with creating your online digital product, making sure that you have your title, who it's by, and then, um, like, what's what's it for, and who's it for overall? And in in a, in a short term or short sentence, you could put that. Now, again, going back to the things that actually stand out to people, I'm gonna edit this image, and I'm gonna actually put a shadow behind it because that typically is what makes your images come to life, right? So I think I'm gonna put a drop behind me I think I want a shadow yeah I think that's cool what about a backdrop I, I, I mess with the backdrop so we're gonna apply that just like that perfect that's so cute and so we'll leave it just like that bow all right now when it comes to the additional things I'm gonna add a page boom then I'm gonna come back over here to templates and then I'm gonna find a page that just has a whole bunch of verbiage and writing on it because that's what we need. So let's say you have a video that you want people to watch. Um, you wanna take them to that video. There's a couple of things that you can do. Um, you can take a photo of yourself. So I'm gonna go back to my photos and it can be <clears throat> reminiscent of like the workouts. I know I have like somewhere where I'm squatting. Within this. Yeah, I think I just saw one. I passed it. Oh, there we go. 
I'm gonna put that there and I am going to adjust it like so and then let's call this abs and glutes day right it's gonna be day one abs and glutes day one abs and glutes go into what this workout is about um maybe even write up the lineup of like um we got 10 front squats let me make sure i'm filming this way squats uh 20 jump squats 15 lunges each leg Blah, 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 right? You type all that in on this side. And then on this side, you give, like, a clear um, write-up of, like, the equipment that they need. Equipment, band, weights, maybe a step stool. And um, down here, you can have, like, a call to action, like... Um, Take a photo after your workout and tag, put your uh, account, Coco Chanel. And then um, use hashtag fit and sign. Boom. There you go. Of course, you would have a lot more verbiage in this section, but I'm just kind of showing you an example of what you can do with this. All right, so with that, if you have a video that you want to connect to your product, you'll come over here to the link and then you'll copy and paste. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to a YouTube page. I want to connect something to it. I'm going to go to YouTube and then I think I'm going to connect one of my workout videos. So we're going to have to go to my channel. And I'm going to go to my And then. Oh, look, Abs and Glute Camp. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Walk, it, walk it like I talk Okay. So we're going to go back to Boom. I'm going to enter the link. Pow. Press enter. Boom. And just like that, it's connected. Okay. Now, if you want to. What I would suggest, if you're doing it like this, put a big old YouTube play button in the middle or something like that. Uh-oh. So what we'll do is, so we don't get caught up, I'm going to go back to my photos. Yeah, if you have that picture frame and you put a photo inside of that picture frame and then you try to put like another element on top of it, um, then it's it will, I'm going to it will take on the picture or the photo that you're actually putting in in front of the frame so I'm just gonna do it like this for now so you guys saw what I did um, I removed the picture frame so before there was a picture frame and then I put the picture inside of the picture frame. I completely removed that picture frame with that picture. I came over and I pasted my own photo. I just posted my own picture without that frame and I just sized it out. Then I'm gonna come back over here to elements and I'm gonna place it over my photo. So this way it's not you know taking over the new image like the new image is not taking over the photo frame and in that way usually when people see that play button they'll press it and then it'll take them to the video that you have hyperlinked with it and just in case you also uh -oh, what you should also do is hyperlink that play button to the same address so they can click anywhere in this area and it'll take them straight to the video Okay, so um, that's one way you can do it. Or the second way you can do it, actually I'm gonna copy this. And I know it looks kind of cha-cha, raggedy, whatever. Cause it's not <laughs> completely pieced together. Um, but I'm gonna delete this and I'm actually gonna delete this. And what's really awesome about Canva is the fact that 
you can actually plug in so if you go to more and you type in YouTube because they have these extra apps booyah look at that and then let's say um, you have a YouTube channel or you want to find the name of your video Coco Chanel Jones. Ooh. You type in your YouTube name or your YouTube link. It will take you. It'll pop up with your videos. All up in here, shout Oh. Ain't nothing to do with me. All right. But, um, yeah, you would place that there. And, of course, you guys, like, I'm going to show you a better example of what this will look like because this just looks so empty and lost. But this is how you would actually, like, piece it together. Now, if we're talking about aesthetics, let me go to my home page. Okay, so here's one. Again, this is me and Dennis when we had our blow up product, online digital product. But like for example, this was one of the videos and you can press, you can click this to get to the humble um, video. And then we told them like what it all was, total body. Let's see. Now that Canva has given you the ability to actually insert the YouTube videos inside of your ebooks makes it so much easier so you don't have to do the copy and paste with the link but um playback uh, but this is how it would look for, this is how it will look once your consumer opens up their ebook um, how you can deliver this to them I usually tell people you can use the um the link uh, that Canva gives you share a link to view you would copy that link and you would send it in their email once they purchase it on your website or if that link is too long because the Canva links are pretty long you can go to like bit.ly I think it is dot com and you can get a shorter link there you go shorten it and now you have the shorter link that you can incorporate inside of that email that gets sent out so with that being said uh oh run screen <laughs> well let me uh exit out of this but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i am going to add my canva affiliate link down at the bottom for your canva pro needs if you do not have canva pro make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you like this video i am having another yes you canva workshop um in person it's going to be happening february 26th and the 27th of 2022 so make sure you guys stay tuned for those dates and how you can uh, register. But other than that, it's your girl Coco Chanel, the Mademoiselle, signing off. And I hope I've helped you with your branding needs. Peace.